Now at 5.30, the highly contagious Delta variant is dominating cases across the U.S. And health officials in some countries are sounding the alarm over its impact on pregnant women. Joining us live now is Dr. Erica Hammer with Hartford HealthCare. Dr. Hammer, thank you so much for being with us. Thanks for having me, Erin. So we obviously know that there are pregnant women out there who are very hesitant to get the vaccine. We also know that this new Delta variant is easily transmissible. Is it also more dangerous for women if they are pregnant? You know, we found that the pregnant women really are at increased risk associated with any type of COVID. But really, we're increasingly getting more and more alarmed with regards to Delta variant because it's becoming more and more uh, obvious that it's more contagious and it's it's more concerning and likely to have severe disease in younger people. So that includes pregnant women. Um, and pregnant women are known to be at increased risk. This is a, you know, the World Health Organization has come out saying that this is a group of concern and a vulnerable population. For these expectant women, you also have to think about the baby here. And are there any potential risks if the mom does contract COVID and specifically the Delta variant? Um, specific to Delta variant, we're not certain yet. That data is still coming out because it's reasonably new. Um, but we certainly have been seeing an uptick in the number of women with uh, the Delta variant. Um, and we've seen really profound outcomes with regards to the fetal outcomes. We've seen a lot of preterm births associated with this, many stillbirths. Um, we've seen pregnant women dying and babies, and it's really a heartbreaking, uh, potentially preventable disorder. It absolutely is heartbreaking. I also want to talk about new moms out there. For women who are breastfeeding, they've just had their child, are there any concerns for them to get the vaccine? Yeah, well, I understand people's hesitancy to do something that they may perceive as concerning and new for their pregnancy and their breastfeeding. Um, really, we think that it's very pe uh, beneficial and protective on pregnant women and breastfeeding moms, including the babies, because when moms breastfeed, they make their own antibodies from this vaccine um, that are then conveyed through the breast milk to protect the baby. So while you know, that kind of is a double, a double hit scenario to help with these babies. So for people who are watching this right now, maybe they're expectant moms, maybe they're breastfeeding moms, maybe they're thinking about pre getting pregnant and they're still not vaccinated. What is your biggest piece of advice to them to protect themselves? You know, I really, I would strongly advise um, getting vaccinated. It's really the best armament we have at this point um, to protect people from severe disease. Um, we've really shown that a um, new study coming out of the United Kingdom showing that of the women that are uh, admitted to the hospital with COVID, uh, COVID um, recently has about about 98% have been unvaccinated. So that shows the women that have gotten vaccinated are, are preserved some, from some of this really significant morbidity. Those are some pretty astounding statistics. Dr. Erica Hammer with Hartford HealthCare. Thank you so much. A lot of good information there. We appreciate it. Thanks, Erin.